Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday, which means it is food shop and meal plan day. If you're new here, hello, my name's Kaylee, and today I'm food shopping and meal planning for a family of four. There's myself, my husband, my seven-year-old son, and my daughter, who's gonna be five in just a couple of weeks. Um, we are finally free from the chicken pox. My daughter had them and my son had them. So we've been doing online Tesco orders, obviously, so as not to spread them. Um, so I went to Aldi yesterday. I didn't go today like I usually would because I was looking after my nephew this morning. It's actually getting quite late on for making this video, so I don't know if it'll be up on time, but we're going to give it a go. Um, we've had a gorgeous morning. We've been playing out in the garden mainly, and um, it's just been nice to see the kids together again because obviously because of the pox, they haven't been able to. So yeah, I went to Aldi yesterday with the kids, and my cupboards were quite full, so I didn't really need that much. And we got a Mindful Chef box, which I wasn't expecting at all. We had one last week, which I was expecting, but one turned up again this week, and we weren't expecting that at all. So it was a lovely surprise, but it really has eased what we needed to buy um, for our food shop. So I thought, you know what, Aldi, just grab a few bits, fresh stuff, fruit, things like that. Dead quick, keep it cheap, and we'll get home. It did not go to plan. Um, <laughs> it just didn't obviously the kids being with me um they sort of were asking for more things and there was actually some really good special buys so i ended up spending 87 pounds which isn't good it's been an expensive food shop month and i promise i promise i'm gonna get back on it next month keeping it cheaper but um yeah 87 pounds so i'm going to show you what i got and then i will come back after and i will let you know what my meal plan is but um i'm i'm <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not proud of myself. I spent far too much. But I'm human and it's the summer holidays and these things happen. So we're keeping it real as always. And yeah, here's my food shopping. I'll see you after to let you know what my meal plan is. Okay, so this is the first of my Aldi shopping. I am never shopping with the kids again. That was, I went in for a few bits. A few bits as a top up to what we already have in the cupboards. I've spent £87. I'm not proud of myself. We have got mini baby cucumber things we have got green grapes and black grapes because of course we need both because the kids couldn't agree on which one was best so there you go we stopped an argument in aldi two packs of romaine lettuce the guinea pixel of these and i've been eating a lot more salads blueberries because according to harry it was just ridiculous that i suggested we get the small pack so i mean we've still got some in the fridge but we now have loads of blueberries we've got apples we've got basil we've got baking potatoes raisins two packs of sweet vine ripened tomatoes these were on offer and the kids love these um i've also got wonky strawberries hi megan i've got some nectarines some pears some shredded kale i've been enjoying this for my lunch and the guinea pigs like it too easy peelers what else have i got out here now right soft pitters i've got a farmhouse loaf some chopped chip brioche rolls some stone baked dough balls and some ciabatta rolls and this is the last of the food before we get to the special buys which is where i really went wrong i mean we don't actually need all of this because we have quite a lot in the cupboards but i mean what's done is done right we've got tortilla wraps tempura chicken nuggets i found these pesto gnocchi um and they're like giant stuffed gnocchi i was quite intrigued i thought that i would give those a go six eggs because we've still got some in the fridge I got some thins, rosemary sea salt, flatbread flavour, I got some medium cheddar, some of these mozzarella balls with sun dried tomatoes, some baby bells, reduced fat hummus, I didn't mean to get reduced fat, I think it was the only one that was left, stirring tomato and smoked bacon pasta sauce just for a quick easy meal um, whenever we need it. Some of these noodles, I've not seen them before, but Alistair likes noodles for lunch. So I got hot and spicy and chicken special. We'll see what he thinks. I think I said cheddar, sour cream and chive dip. I got some ham on one of these stuffed crust Carlos takeaway pizzas. Some of Aldi's version of Pringles, salt and vinegar flavor. Megan chose this cereal, multigrain dino shapes. And Harry chose these <laughs> Haribo super mini mix um i just didn't have the energy to say no today but they will be rationed and they will last a long time penne pasta cheese twists and then this which i was quite excited about so this is chicken wings let me see if it'll focus there you go so there's american barbecue flavor caribbean jerk red thai and greek 
something. So there's like four different flavours of wings. So I thought they were worth a go. Chickpeas, cookies, Megan chose those. Avengers yogurts, um, which was probably double the price for half as many, but you know, that's shopping with kids. Craze cereal, again, that's something that would not have made its way into the trolley without Harry being there, but there we go. Some fry light, because um, we've been using the air fryer a lot, so I thought this would be good for doing a light spraying of oil. Some chocolate milk, again, that's the kids. And these salted caramel iced latte sachets, which I absolutely love. And that is it for food. Now for the special buys. And then this is the rest. So obviously my toilet roll is standard, that's not special buys. But then the kids saw these. I think they were probably a bit overpriced for what they are, but we'll see when we open them up. They are colouring rolls. So there's basically an Avengers one that Harry chose and a princess one that Megan chose. And it's basically just a big roll that you can lay out on the floor and they can sit in colour. I give it five minutes before they get bored. I'm hoping that it will last longer, but um, yeah, so we've come home with those. And then I found these. So this is age three plus and it's an English and maths activity book. So I thought this would be nice for Megan as she's starting school this year, just to do a bit more over the holidays. We have been doing some activities, but this would just, I don't know, make it seem special because it's in a book. And one for Harry, so it's seven plus key stage two. He's about to go into junior school, so I just thought that this would be good for practicing at home. Um, and they've got like stickers and activities and stuff. So fingers crossed they'll enjoy those. I also got some bubble mixture because we got some bubble like spray gun things the other day and they love them, but we've run out, so I've topped up. And I got this. It was the last one and I can't believe I found it. Um, I think this was only like a fiver. I'm gonna have to check my receipt. But it's like the TikTok food chopper thing that's everywhere, but cheaper and in Aldi. So I'm going to give this a go and see if it is everything I've dreamed it will be. You supposedly just put your food on the top there, slam it down, and it dices it into nice little chunks. So um, I'm very, very excited about this because I'd heard they were in Aldi two weeks ago. But obviously with the pox going around my house, um, I thought I would miss out on it. So there was one, it was right at the back. I had to practically climb in the basket to get it but it's mine, so I'm gonna give that a go in a little while. So yeah, as you can see, the majority of the things that made me go over on my food spend were non-essential items. I got the colouring rolls for the kids, which they absolutely love and they've really enjoyed playing with. It's kept the screens off, kept them busy, so I don't regret that, but it's something I wouldn't have bought had they not been there with me. I also got the chopper, vegetable chopper thing. Um, I've seen these all over TikTok and it's like a green one in the TikTok shop and I've been thinking, do I get one, do I not? And then I was like, no, Kaylee, don't be ridiculous. And then I saw that Aldi had come out with a dupe version and it was a fiver, but obviously we couldn't go to the shops because of the chicken pox. So um, yeah, I thought, oh, well, I'm just gonna miss out on that in the special buys. When I was going around Aldi, there was one, it was right at the back of one of the low down baskets. I swear I nearly fell in trying to grab this thing <laughs> to buy it. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't a pretty sight, but I got it and we brought it home. So that was a bigger expense. I also got more like snacky type things because, you know, kids, holidays, stuff like that. So yeah, went a little bit wild this week and um, I will get back on it. I will. But we all have weeks where we go over and we all have weeks where we spend more than we should. Um, and that's just life and keeping it real and telling you the truth. So I do need to get back on it and get better at budgeting. But for now, I failed miserably this week. So that's fine. Meal plan. I've got it on my board again. I've been loving having this stuck onto my fridge just because I can tick off the meals as we've done them and we know what we've got left. So I've got two Mindful Chef meals. One of them is, in fact, let me get the book and I'll tell you. Okay. Salmon and vegetable tray bake with samphire. So that's this one. I think that looks really nice, right up my street. And the other one is chicken fajita bowl with quinoa and corn. And that's this one. I'm really, really excited about those because obviously we were really lucky. I wasn't expecting to get these. They were gifted. Sorry, Harry came in. Um, so what I'm gonna do is next week, I will buy two extra meals worth of ingredients and things, and I'm gonna put them in the food shop, food bank basket, just as like a pay it forwards kind of thing. So 
there's that but those are the two mindful chef meals that i've got on the menu this week we're going to have one tonight one tomorrow we're going to do a spaghetti bolognese because i have got some beef mince in um in the freezer um yeah it needs using i've got all the ingredients spaghetti bolognese chicken and chickpea curry again this is a meal rolled over from a previous week that we didn't have so the chicken is in the freezer i bought some chickpeas because we'd used the other tin um, I've got the curry sauce and stuff already in the cupboard, nice and easy. For Friday, I have put pizza, dough balls and salad. So that is all stuff that I have bought this week. I'm also going to do a tuna pasta bake. I don't know why I've got loads of tuna. Usually we go through tuna quite quick, but for some reason it's just been piling up in the cupboard. So I need to get some of that used. We will have that. And then on the Sunday, I'm going to do dirty fries um, and maybe those chicken wings. You know, like the big tray of chicken wings that I got. I might do that with it and just be a little bit over the top with it. Um, and yeah, that's our meals for this week. I'm trying to keep this really, really short and sweet because it's quite late on in the day. I still need to edit it. And I've got a feeling I'm going to take the trampoline down this afternoon. We've had a trampoline since, was Harry two or three? I can't remember if he was two or three when we got the trampoline. So it's like four years old at least and um it's starting to look a little bit dangerous so it needs to go and i'm really sad because they love it they use it a lot but there's just there's bits on it that i'm starting to think i don't trust it so i might take that down this afternoon i've bribed them with going to a local trampoline park <laughs> if they um let me take it down so i'm going to try and get on with all of that and edit this and get it up at a normal time as usual breakfast and things we've got eggs we've got beans we've got bread we've got cereal you know like lunches we tend to just wing it sandwiches or mini omelettes or um just whatever <laughs> whatever's in the cupboard um and yeah that is my meal plan for this week i know this was um, a really short but sweet one bit of a shambles let's face it the shop was a bit of a shambles um but I do these every week so you see the good the bad and the ugly and this week is just one of those ugly ones so yeah here we go more motivate more motivation to get it right next week and to get back on track um i hope you're having a wonderful week whatever you are doing and i'll see you in my next video